In this video, we'll discuss about King's College criteria for acetaminophen induced acute liver failure. We'll briefly discuss about the criteria and then we'll learn an easy mnemonic to understand the components of this criteria. Acute liver failure is a rare but devastating illness with a high risk of progression to multi organ failure and death. So failure to identify those in the need of emergency liver transplantation results in a potentially preventable death. And among the various drugs which can cause the liver injury, acetaminophen is one of the most common drugs responsible. So this King's College criteria for acetaminophen induced liver failure is used to determine which patients would benefit from the liver transplantation. So this criteria recommends who should be immediately referred for the liver transplantation. And this criteria it can be used in both acute setup or in cases of the chronic acetaminophen poisoning as well. This is a widely accepted criteria. This criteria was derived from a retrospective analysis of 588 patients in between 1973 to 1985 and has been subsequently validated in many centers after that. There are basically two criteria. One is for the acetaminophen induced liver failure and one is for the non acetaminophen induced liver failure. But we'll focus only on the acetaminophen induced acute liver failure in this video. In 1989, a study done by O'Grandy uh, showed that this criteria predicted 77% of the total deaths. So this criteria has very high specificity, so 93% specificity, whereas it has very low sensitivity and low negative predictive value. So uh, fulfillment of this criteria causes a poor prognosis, but lack of fulfillment may still carry unfavorable outlook. So we should be very careful while we implement this criteria while we manage the patients with acute liver failure due to acetaminophen poisoning. This chart summarizes the King's College criteria. So the presence of one of the following should prompt the referral or transfer to a liver transplantation center for the emergency liver transplantation. If arterial pH is less than 7.3, then patient won't need to meet any of these criteria. However, if PS is not less than 7.3, then patients should meet all of these three criteria. And these three criteria include prothrombin time more than 100 seconds or INR more than 6.5, serum creatinine more than 300 millimole per liter or 3.4 milligram per deciliter, and hepatic encephalopathy grade 3 or 4. So from this chart, what you need to understand is if pH is less than 7.3, you can directly refer patient for the emergency liver transplantation. However, if pH is not less than 7.3, then patient should meet all of the following three criteria uh, to proceed with the referral for the liver transplantation. So we can remember the components and the parameters used in the King's College criteria using this mnemonic rule of three for pcm overdose the components of this criteria can be remembered using this part of the mnemonic of pcm where a is for acidosis p is for ptinr c is for creatinine m is for mental change that is hepatic encephalopathy now to remember the cutoff values used in this criteria we can use this rule of three the pH is less than 7.3, so it has got 3 in it. Similarly, prothrombin time is 100, that is, it is the first 3 digit number. Similarly, with INR, the cutoff is 6.5, or it is 3 times 2 approximately, so we can use that as well. Similarly, for the creatinine, the cutoff is 300 or 3.4, and both of the values contain 3, so you can use 3 in this for the creatinine as well. And for the AC, the cutoff is AC grade 3 or more. So, 
all the parameters all the components of this uh, criteria have three in them so you can use rule of three for a pcm overdose to remember all the aspects of this criteria so i hope by using this video you will be able to remember this king's college criteria thank you for watching subscribe for more videos